So what is the purpose of components in Figma? Components serve as reusable elements within your designs. They enable you to establish and maintain consistent design elements across various frames or pages within a project. Various methods exist for creating a component. You can choose a frame or item on either click the Create a Component button in the toolbar shown as a diamond with four square boxes. Use the keyboard shortcut Command Option K for Mac or Control Alt K for PC. You could also try right click the item and select create a component. And you can also navigate to the main menu under the Figma logo, scroll down to object and choose create a component. All components will be displayed in the asset tab. Drag an instance onto your frame. The benefit of using components becomes apparent when they are placed across numerous frames and pages in a prototype. Manually change the colors of these components could prove challenging. However, once a component is created, it becomes the master component and any changes to it are instantly applied to all instances. To modify the master component, double click on the component to make edits, and these changes will be reflected across all instances. In this example, I will adjust the fill, and once the color is altered, you should observe all instances on the frame simultaneously change in color. Consider a scenario where you wish to modify the attribute of a specific instance without impacting the master component. The capability is referred to as overrides, enabling you to tailor the props of individual instances without affecting the master component. For example, you can modify text, fill, stroke, effects, and the bounding box or other attributes in each instance separately. To override the text or image content, simply double click on the instance and apply the desired changes. Additionally, you can choose Reset All Changes from the toolbar next to create a component to revert to the original state if needed. Thanks for watching.